Good morning. Oh, you see the line on my face from the pillow. I just woke up. I woke up to a nice little video from my friend and she was venting about stuff. I love that. You can always vent to me. It's not going to make me upset because I've been working for since 2013 about not letting other people's emotions affect me. Like I can understand and I can sympathize, but I try to stay away from the empathy th side, which is like feeling. So if someone comes to me and they're super angry, I'm not going to feel super angry when you're telling me about it. Um, which some people like when you mirror their energy. And I'll do that, but when it's negative energy, I don't like to mirror it because that just exceeds the momentum. Anyway, she was talking about how whenever she's doing good in life because I posted a picture about success and that people tend to judge her in three simple words that can cut real deep so you're doing good someone sees that and they turn to you and say must be nice <sighs> must be nice which I just told her yeah there are three words and it's must be nice but there's obviously some connotation behind that of you don't deserve this why are you so lucky what makes you worthy must be nice not everyone can get it um there's a lot that we read into those three simple words we read into a lot of three word combos <laughs> but um i think that in my experience growing up <clears throat> Whenever I was at a party or a show or something and people are connecting and, you know, we're in a room and we're, we're standing in a circle. This momentum builds. So someone will start and say, whew, today was a rough day. You know, I was, I was late to work and then the credit card machine went down and I had to do all of them by hand. It was awful. The next person will go, whew, you think that's bad? You know, my brand new car that I just bought broke down and I had to, and then it goes to the next person. Oh, you think that's bad? My dog is sick. <laughs> I'm just thinking of all the negative things. But anyway, they'll just go down the line. And then it comes to me. And I say, I love my life. How could this be so nice? You know, like, it's a little kismet line right there. But just basically saying, I am so blessed that I'm even alive right now and standing in a circle. Like, the fact that I can see and hear is huge you know but they go oh, must be nice you know you're living your life's great after we just all went around a circle saying how awful our lives are and your life's great it must be nice and my response to that is it really really is it's really nice it's fulfilling it's a life of ease and those people, there'll be two people. There'll be, you know, the one person goes, ugh. Which they probably won't immediately get a life of ease. They'll have to untrain their brain to realize that, like we were talking about yesterday, whatever you hate on, it's going to take you longer to manifest because your vibration is at a low vibration of that and there's resistance, right? So if you just took their words, must be nice, for what it actually means... It is nice. It's very nice. And you don't have to dig into those words and think of all those negative thoughts that it could mean. Assuming you know people's attentions are always wrong. Intentions are always wrong. Um, well, 99% of the time you assume you're wrong. So I would just say, when people tell you it must be nice... What they're really saying is you're living a life of fulfillment that sounds nice. It must be nice. That must be nice. And it is. So if it is nice, don't get mad or try to justify or tell them your downfalls or how you're martyred them, like how you were a martyr to do this and you had to... That's resistance. Because I'm a firm believer that you don't need all this stuff that we think we need. You know, our perception is our reality. Love y'all.